from Singapore, I'm Belinda. Today is May 25th, day 49 of the Circuit Breaker period. I've come to the shop today to have my spectacles uh, readjusted because they keep slipping from my nose. And the first thing I had to do was um, to make an appointment with the shop. And then after they have confirmed the appointment, um, I need to check in when I arrived and here I am right now and they have been very very helpful. So you might think um, going to the optician to have my glasses readjusted is nothing special. Well it's not. Um, the service was free so my glasses have been adjusted and I'm very happy about it. It's, it sits on my nose and my face perfectly now. It doesn't feel awkward anymore and uh, besides that I also came home with a new pair of glasses and with lenses that are fitted um, to my prescription. Meanwhile I'm minus 5.5 uh, and minus 5.25 on the other eye so um, I had an eye test done and uh, the equipment's there and uh, the service was just perfect. I just want to let you know where I was. I was on, at this shop in the Ion um, Orchard. Uh, fantastic. I bought two pairs of glasses. The first pair of glasses would take um, two weeks for it to be, um, to be done because I chose a frame that is sort of frameless, which means the lenses, they need to drill holes in the lenses. So that's fine. Uh, but these pair, this is my second pair of glasses. It came with a 50% off, 50% discount. And um, besides the prescription, I, I only um, inquired um, computer lenses to be, to be put in. And they had it there and it was done in 20 minutes. And here I am with my new glasses. I can see far. It is just perfect. And I love the shape. What about you? So I did not have an idea what I wanted to eat today, so I just decided I should go um, to the mall to see what eateries are opened and what I feel like. So I walked past this yakitori place, Japanese skewers, and I bought some chicken balls, um, chicken fillet, or barbecued and grilled, barbecued or grilled, not sure. This one is chicken with peppers and quail eggs. So I want to try all of that. But the most interesting thing that I discovered today is um, this ramen place that sells uh, black sauce, which is um, squid, uh, squid tint. It comes with lots of packages. Uh, not sure what all this is. This looks like, um, I have to guess, uh, onions in the sauce and maybe uh, moor, which is uh, black fungus, but I'm not sure. Um, this is where the, oh, this is pork and ramen in there. Slices of pork and ramen beneath it all right and then there's a bag of sauce or soup it's um, I ordered the black ramen um, it looks looked fantastic on the picture and I have no idea how it would taste taste okay so I'm gonna this is another oh mmm garlic garlic and let's see mm. olive am I supposed to put it in there oh it's all very black oh <laughs> all right and then what I'm gonna do here I assume to is to put everything into the bowl I assume that's how um, I'm expected to eat it. There we go. And this is more 
Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's chili. I'll leave that out. Oh, gosh, it's spicy. So, this is the result of my black ramen. I have to say, it looks fantastic. I'm going to mix it and then show you. Wow. Okay, now check this out. Black sauce. Ooh. Wow. That looks delicious. Mmm. Not too salty. Mmm. The taste is really amazingly, surprisingly good for this price. This cost $17. I came back from uh, my short uh, venture um, to the mall opposite of the hotel, having bought my lunch and a uh, new pair of glasses. And uh, a friend from California texted me and uh, informed me that um, she has found my book, my biography. <laughs> and to my surprise, I, I have never written a book, nor have I given anyone the authority to write a book about me, nor do I think this book really exists. Anyway, she sent me a link to this, which says my name and um, the publisher. Uh, apparently, you can order this book uh, written by not one, but two authors at the same time. Bear in mind, my life has been very complicated. You can't really write about me as a single person. I've lived many people's lives. <laughs> so, um, yes, at first, uh, it was funny. At first, I was laughing about it. You know, it's uh, who on earth would be interested to... Um, listen to my life story let alone pay for it so um, if you're interested to buy my book <laughs> whatever um, it um, yes it has a good price behind it $14.99 but um, that's not all that you have to pay on top of that you have to pay over six dollars of um, shipping fee and um, in order to possess a book um, containing my biography, you would have um, to spend $21.48 for that. So my friend has, um, <laughs> has decided to order the book. This is the order sheet and um, to pay by PayPal. So if anything happens, I think PayPal will refund the money. Uh, as I say, the shipping is $6.49 plus the book itself is $14.99. So um, yeah, the whole scam is $21.48 US dollars. Looking at the content of the book, um, of my biography, um, the information is actually based on um, as far as I can identify it, based on my LinkedIn account and what I have um, put into my LinkedIn account. Um, it's all professionally based. I have no uh, private information on my LinkedIn account. And that is the first thing I realize is that, you know, what can you write about a person, let alone me, what can you write about a person just by looking at their CV? You know, how, how are you going to put the red dots together? Are you going to create a story to make it interesting? I don't know. So what I've done is um, I uh, have contacted LinkedIn and I have, first of all, deactivated my account. I have given them the reason why I want my account to be deactivated with immediate effect is that I presume that my identity and that my information on LinkedIn has been um, abused. 
Meanwhile, because I thought it was so funny that uh, <laughs> my biography is available for sale without me knowing it, of course, I have um, tried to post this information on Facebook to share with my friends. And um, together with the link that my friend from California sent me that leads to the book. And funny enough, Facebook wouldn't even let me post that link. So I assume that this scammer is well known to Facebook and therefore they have blocked this um, RT Lect uh, pl publishing uh, link which is um, credits to Facebook for that. At the same time, I have made some effort to Google the two authors, <laughs> the two writers who joined force uh, to write my biography. And one of them is called Russell, Ronald Russell. And on Google, I found him. He is a 96-year-old man. Apparently, uh, it looks like he um, is or was a writer. He did publish one book. But apart from that, it's all very strange biographies. Uh, all biographies. I don't even know if that is authentic. Um, but strangely enough, the dates are very new. So it's all based on 2017. However, this gentleman, according to Facebook, is 96 years old. The second writer, um, who is accountable for my biography, is called Alex something. I can't pronounce his name. Um, and again, it is quite identical with um, the other author who... Um, is specialized in probably uh, fake biographies. So I've made the effort to Google about the publisher who is, um, according to the information from the link where my book is available, uh, they are based in Lithuania. So based on the name of the um, publisher, I was able to find a scam advisor on Google and this scam advisor told me that this scammer is well known. Now, I still can't understand and I'm trying to fathom what is actually the, the scam behind it. I mean, who on earth is interested to spend $21.48 to buy a book about me. I, you know, I, I can't, and what is the scam behind it? It could be that they um, cash the money and you would never receive anything. That is number one. Or they are using this information and using it elsewhere besides trying to sell a biography that uh, won't be on the bestsellers list anyway. But um, I don't know and it's yet to find out whether my friend in California would or would not receive this book anytime soon. And friends around the world in different, living on different continents have tried to Google me and strangely enough, uh, friends from Germany, Sweden and uh, UK, when they Google my first and last name, uh, there is no link to a biography. So there's no link to any book sale. However, friends from America, um, again, it, this, this whole story started from California. And thank you very much. I know it's, it's Vicky who um, found me, right? Thank you. I'm glad you did. <laughs> and uh, so... My friends in America, whether they're based in California or New York or San Francisco, when they Google my name, there is a link that is linked to this book. So I assume that the scam is focused or targets on the US market. Is it because 
there is no um, plagiarism or uh, copyrights in America, between America and Lithuania, because that's where the publishers are. Um, however, Lithuania is also part of Europe, so I assume if there is a report made from Europe, um, then someone might be um, held accountable for that. We all know that it is quite impossible to um, um, to be careful enough on the internet if a um, if a criminal wants you know uh, hacks into your your account, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, in my case LinkedIn, um, it um, it is doable. It is possible. And I have to say, this is the second time that my LinkedIn account has been used or uh, misused. Um, I think it was more than 10 years ago when someone copied um, all my LinkedIn information, including my profile picture, and created a new Facebook account with that information. Uh, at the time, I was informed by friends who asked me whether I had a second account on Facebook, which I didn't. And going back to the biography, I mean, yes, first of all, who is interested in buying my biography except maybe myself? But if we all find this information, if we all would have found this information that there is a biography about you, um, out there where people can, uh, where you can order, I think a lot of people would be interesting, would be interested to order that book and to see what information um, has been gathered about them. So it's 2148 for everyone who is, um, who has a, a LinkedIn account, for example. I think that can accumulate to quite a lot of money. So I'll keep you updated, I'll keep you posted what happens. Let's see if uh, my friend in California will ever receive a book, um, a biography written by someone else about me. Uh, <laughs> um, it will, I, I will still consider um, to, I, I will look into the, the possibility of um, putting a report in because um, this, is, this has created quite a, a, a bit of uh, anxiety and, and it has been quite nerve-wracking all day um, while I was trying to gather information and Googling and trying to ask friends around the world to help me and stuff like that. And it's just time wasted and it shouldn't be, you know, it's, my time is precious too. And, but thank God for... Um, lockdown around the world and this is something this pandemic has perhaps uh, been beneficial to me because otherwise nobody would have had um, the time or the interest to even you know to look me up so thank you coronavirus for that <laughs>